Today we have a beautiful morning, minus 10 degrees, fresh powder on the runway. We have, we prepared with cars driving along the runway yesterday, but in the night we, we got another 5 cm of fresh powder, so we're gonna check out if the Avanti will take off. Flying on the new motor, but about this after the flight, and flying on three batteries in parallel, so it is gonna be a full throttle flight, very fast, low passes, high climbs, so it's gonna be nice. Okay. Pre-flight check, right, left, up, down. Okay, tower cleared us, we can go. Full throttle all the time and deep dive. Okay guys, so the first flight in, it was very nice, uh, very cold, even though I was pushing really full throttle. I didn't, 
I didn't uh, go, go down with the stick even once. We had nine minutes flight uh, and used 10,000 mAh out of 12 from three batteries inside. Uh, top speed we reached, let's say. 243 kilometers per hour, 10,000. 243 kilometers per hour, which is nice. On 130 amps, 2.8 kilowatts. I put a little bit stronger motor inside and this is interesting because I told you before the flight about the motor and now we'll say about the motor. Uh, I purchased three motors from uh, TFL Hobby from Germany. Uh, the SSS motors in runners. I never used them before because I flew on the uh, head typhoons and on 10 shocks. And I thought maybe these motors, the SSS motors won't be so good because they're cheap. They're like half price. But I said, okay, what the heck? I'll try it. In the name of cheaper modeling, <laughs> EDF jets. And uh, I've tested those motors on the bench. Uh, I've tested for efficiency and for temperature. And I must say that these motors are equally efficient as the top motors that I fly. So the 10 shocks and the head motors. The efficiency is exactly the same, which is super nice. And what is nice, they're cooler with the same weight range of the other two brands. They're cooler, running cooler, which is great because it means that they have lower resistance, internal resistance, which is super, super nice. So I can recommend those motors to you. I already had few flights on them. They balance super easy. So it means the bearings and the shaft is high quality. I hope they, they will last, but in general, I'm very pleased. So I can recommend with the clear conscience, the SSS motors for your applications, for your projects. They have a very nice range of KV and of the weight and uh, and general rule of thumb in motors is that whenever you want to choose a motor for application, the inrunner, you need to choose by weight, not the size. And for example, if you choose a 300 motor, 300 gram motor, you can use it in application of 3000 watts. So three kilowatt. And then it will be a, a, safe, a safe choice. Okay, so this was very, very interesting flight. A lot of low passes, high speed, very nice. So we fly again and that's it. And Avanti flies on snow, super nice. And by the way, guys, uh, if I will get anything for free from any manufacturer, I'll let you know. These motors I bought because I was very curious and it's not a commercial. I just gave you my, my personal view about this and uh, I, spay, I spent my own money for these motors. So it's not a promotion, it's not sponsored. Everything what you see here is, is bought, is not sponsored, okay? So I hope you, you, you think it's a sincere uh, YouTube channel and you enjoy it as I enjoy it. Uh, we have a nice powder today. So we're gonna see how, actually the battery is almost gone, but we, we're gonna see how the, the snow blows. Ready? <laughs> Cool, really cool.
Oh, okay, landing. Okay, one more thousand. There we go. Nine thousand two hundred forty-four milliamp hours. We can push a little bit more. We still have three thousand milliamp per hour. Nine thousand four hundred ninety-seven milliamp hours to use. Okay. Nine thousand. 676 milliamp hours, 118 kilometers per hour, middle rates, high rates, gear down, 88 kilometers per hour, 9,742 milliamp hours, flaps full, 76 kilometers per hour, 47 kilometers per hour, 9,761 milliamp hours. Let's check the top speed. 242 kilometers per hour. 242 kilometers per hour on the Pitot Cube. So the Avanti was flying on uh, uh, 3,700 uh, 3, grams, 3.7 kilograms, on three batteries Leons. One is all the way back, then two, three, three, ba three battery leads, and it flew great. It, it feels a little bit more heavy, but comparing to the fiberglass Avanti from Sebart, it's still super light, the feeling in the air. And of course, you can, you can push full throttle all the time. And in this cold weather, I don't worry about overheating anything because the sensor on my ESC at the full load was showing only plus 30 degrees Celsius. So it's nothing, I could push much harder, even though the ESC is 80, uh, amp and I was pushing 120 almost all the time all the time because I I was pushing all the time the full full speed okay so it's very very nice of course cheater holes closed because it's cold so I don't want to cool my batteries in the summertime these holes both sides has to be open because otherwise you will kill the battery the Leons the Leons can withstand up to 85 uh, Celsius on the side of the cell if you exceed it, then maybe it will get damaged. But 85 is still very hot. Okay, so it was a fun flight. A lot of low passes, a lot of speed, a lot of hard turns. And the airframe survived this pulling those Gs because we were pulling some Gs with this weight. But this, uh, this plane is amazing. It's really well built, so it's fun. I think this is my favorite plane of all times. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and uh, maybe see you, hope to see you next time.